Kia ora everyone, today we are going to learn about liquids and what makes a liquid special. But first, let's revisit what we've learned about matter. Matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. Everything you can see and touch is made up of matter. Here are some examples of matter, like the food that we eat, things we love to play with, things we use at school, the air that we breathe. Everything around us is made up of matter. There are three main states of matter, solids, liquids and gases. Solids are rigid and keep their shape. They do not flow like liquids. Liquids change their shape and flow. If we put them in a container, they will take the same shape as the container. Gases can spread out and change their shape. Sometimes we cannot see gases. If we took a very powerful microscope and looked at matter, we would see that all matter is made up of tiny little particles called atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. Scientists have found out that the difference between a solid, liquid and a gas is that the atoms in a solid are tightly packed and don't move. The atoms in liquids are still connected to each other, but not as tightly as in solids. And the atoms in gas are not held together at all, so they can move about freely. This is important information because the universe is full of all sorts of different atoms, each with a different number of these protons, neutrons and electrons. Each different atom is called an element. But let's recap all that. All matter is made from atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. And inside matter, there are different kinds of atoms and we call them elements. The periodic table is a list of all the possible ingredients in the world that everything in the entire universe is made out of. Every single solid, liquid or gas in the world is made up of different combinations of elements from the periodic table. Today we are learning about liquids. Liquids have a definite volume but do not have a definite shape. The atoms and liquids are close but can slide past each other. They take the shape of the container they are in, flowing to fill the bottom and changing to the shape of its container. Did you know that a liquid is a form of matter? It's settled between a solid and a gas and liquid has an almost fixed volume but no set shape. It's the pull of gravity that makes liquids always take the shape of their container. Every liquid has a specific boiling and freezing point, which can vary under different pressure conditions. Water, for example, boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. Everything in the world is made up of the elements found on the periodic table. A compound happens when you combine two or more elements together to form another chemical that is different from those it is made of. The elements stick together so strongly that the compound behaves like one substance and we call this a chemical bond. A chemical bond happens when elements are bonded together and can't be broken. For example, water. Water is made up of the elements of hydrogen and oxygen. Water is a chemical bond. You can't separate the elements that make up water. The symbol of water is H2O. This is because water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Let's learn it again. Everything in the world is made up of elements found on the periodic table. A compound happens when you combine two or more elements together to form another chemical. So next time you're drinking water, remember that the symbol for water is H2O and water is made out of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Hope you've enjoyed learning with us. Ka kite. See you next time.